a 100-year-old former Nazi guard has gone on trial, facing charges for 3,518 deaths. Here's a summary of the article. 100-year-old former Nazi guard has gone on trial in Germany The suspect, who was identified only as Joseph S. in keeping with German privacy rules, is accused of being an accessory to murder for serving as an SS guard at the Sachsenhausen concentration camp. October 7, 2021. 8.52 a.m. Eastern Time. Berlin. A 100-year-old man went on trial in Germany Thursday, accused of being an accessory to murder for serving as a Nazi SS guard at the Sachsenhausen concentration camp near Berlin during World War II. The trial of the defendant, who was charged with 3,518 counts of accessory to murder, was held at the Neruppen State Court, which moved the proceedings to a prison sport hall in Brandenburg for organizational reasons. Authorities say that the defendant is considered fit enough to stand trial despite his advanced age, though the number of hours per day the court is in session will be limited. A survivor of Sachsenhausen, 100-year-old Leon Schwarzbaum, attended the trial as a visitor. This is the last trial for my friends, acquaintances and my loved ones, who were murdered, in which the last guilty person can still be sentenced. Hopefully, Schwarzbaum, who also survived the Auschwitz death camp and Buchenwald concentration camp, told DPA. The opening of the trial comes a week after another the opening of another elderly concentration camp suspect's trial was disrupted. A 96-year-old former secretary for the Stutthof camp's SS commander skipped the opening of her trial at the Itzeho State Court in northern Germany. This post received a score of 18,000, with an up-vote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Wow, that's late. It's literally the reason why Germany abolished its statute of limitations for murder. They could have investigated him decades ago. Actually, most guards did a lot to change their identity and hide from their war crime tribunals. Surprising, right? The ones whom didn't defect to South America, lol. I learned about that in the documentary, X-Men, First Class. Prosecuting them is the right thing, but I can't help but feel cynical that way bigger fish have been pardoned. I wonder which bottom-level pleb is going to take the fall for some modern-day atrocity in 80 years after the guys in charge have died and all the money spent. That's a great question, and yes, almost all of the big fish were let go, or got off. As long as they weren't sent east after the war, they probably got off only to face accountability like this later in life, and that's a big maybe, I'm sure the majority were left unpunished. While we are on the topic, I do wonder if any perpetrators of the Bataan Death March in the Pacific were held accountable. I have not heard much on Japanese accountability for their actions in China and the Pacific. Shinzo Abe is the grandson of the man who oversaw the rape of Nanjing. We pardoned a lot of fascist Japanese scum edit. We also put a Nazi in charge of NASA, and gave another a high-ranking position in the CIA. Hail fucking Hydra. A lot of the early NATO commanders were lifted straight off Hitler's Christmas card list. When you need a job done, Get the most qualified man shrugging. Meritocracy aside, Nazis deserve, D, capital punishment. It's the ideological equivalent of shouting fire in a movie theater. Zero tolerance. That will show him. Now he won't be able to find a job. My great-grandfather's brother and his whole family committed suicide four days before the war ended because everyone including his young daughter was getting raped. It really fucked my family up. I can see how the generational trauma affects us. There's a lot of mental illness in the family, most of it comes from the side of the great-grandparents I'm mentioning. I usually don't write comments like this, but I thought I'd share what I've heard from my family about their experience in Nazi Germany. Hey man I would love to read that book if you wouldn't mind sharing the link. Thanks. DM to you. Same. DM please. Same. I was looking for someone mentioning Japanese war criminals not being convicted can't find it. Well that's a depressing piece of information I'd never learned. Yup, and it was the same way with the Nazi human experiments that happened in the camps. Completely batshit insane experiments that had little to no valuable information obtained. For all the talk you may hear people say about Nazi tech being so great, it was so-so, their medical research was absolute shit. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, 
and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.